welcome to TechLogix. In today's video tutorial, we're diving into the unboxing and demonstrating how to install the SIM card and connect the TP-Link TL, MR100 300 megabits per second 2.4 GHz wireless and 4G LTE router to your devices. This router is the perfect solution for anyone seeking fast and reliable internet on the go. With its 4G LTE sharing capabilities, you can enjoy high-speed internet wherever you are, all without worrying about complicated setups. It's incredibly user-friendly, just insert a micro SIM card and power it up to experience fast, stable Wi-Fi on a 4G LTE network right away. Let's take a moment to look at what's included in the package. Inside, you'll find the TP-Link TL, MR100 router itself, a DC power adapter, an RJ45 Ethernet cable, a quick installation guide, and two detachable antennas. Each of these components is designed to make your setup as straightforward as possible. During the unboxing, we'll showcase each item in detail so you know exactly what to expect when you purchase this router for yourself. Once we've completed the unboxing, it's time to move on to the setup process. In this section, I'll walk you step by step through inserting the micro SIM card and connecting the power adapter. You'll be amazed at how quickly you can be up and running. Soon, you'll be ready to enjoy download speeds of up to 150 megabits per second, making it perfect for streaming HD movies, quick file downloads, and smooth video chats, all achieved in just a few simple steps. Next, let's explore the router's impressive features and capabilities. The TP-Link TL MR100 is compatible with both FDDLTE and TDDLTE networks, meaning that it can connect with most service providers globally. The router is equipped with two advanced LTE antennas that have been rigorously tested for universal compatibility, ensuring you a reliable connection no matter where you are. Additionally, we'll discuss its capacity to support up to 32 devices simultaneously, making it an ideal choice for both small and large spaces. Plus, the inclusion of two LAN slash one ports allows you to easily connect wired devices such as desktops and gaming consoles. To wrap things up, we'll highlight why the TP-Link TL MR100 is a fantastic choice for revolutionizing your internet experience. With its ease of installation and reliable performance, you won't want to miss the chance to enjoy fast, dependable connectivity at home or on the go. To begin setting up your TP-Link TL MR100 router, the first step is to attach the provided antennas to the designated antenna ports on the router. Simply align each antenna with the corresponding port, ensuring a secure connection by twisting them clockwise until they are firmly in place. This step is crucial as the antennas enhance the router's ability to receive and transmit signals, ultimately improving your Wi-Fi coverage and performance. Once the antennas are correctly installed, you'll be ready to proceed with the rest of the setup process. SIM Card Installation Before you begin the process of installing or removing the SIM card from your TP-Link TL MR100 router, it's essential to ensure that the router is powered off. This precaution helps prevent any potential damage to both the router and the SIM card itself, ensuring a smooth operation. The micro SIM card slot is conveniently located on the backside panel of the router. As you prepare to insert the card, you'll notice icons adjacent to each slot that clearly indicate their purpose and the correct direction for insertion. This thoughtful design makes it simple to identify where to place the SIM card, and it's crucial to follow the orientation guidelines to avoid any issues with connectivity. When you're ready to insert or eject the SIM card, do so gently by pressing it until it clicks into place or pops out, depending on whether you're installing or removing it. It's important to handle the card carefully to avoid bending or damaging it. Once the SIM card is correctly installed in its designated slot, you can go ahead and power on the router. With the SIM card in place, you'll be set to enjoy reliable internet access through your router, confidently ready to connect your devices to the network. To power up your TP-Link TL MR100 router, start by connecting it to a suitable power source using the provided DC power adapter. Simply plug the adapter into an electrical outlet, and then connect the other end to the power input of the router. Once everything is plugged in, the router will initiate its startup sequence, during which you'll see the power light illuminate. This indicates that the router is powering on, and the Wi-Fi feature will be automatically enabled as well, confirmed by the glowing Wi-Fi LED. 
As the router continues through its startup phase, you'll observe the 4G network signal LED lighting up once the device has completely booted. This signal LED is critical as it signifies that the router has detected the SIM card and is properly communicating with the mobile network. Additionally, the last three signal LEDs will indicate the strength of the connection to the mobile tower, giving you an overview of the network's reliability and performance based on the signal strength received. Once the router has fully booted and the relevant LEDs are lit, the internet icon LED will also turn on, indicating that you have a successful connection to the 4G internet. This feature operates using a plug-and-play method, meaning you don't need to configure any complicated settings to get online. The router is designed for ease of use, making it a hassle-free option for anyone looking to establish internet access quickly. At this stage, you can access the internet seamlessly through either the LAN ports or the Wi-Fi network provided by the router. Whether you prefer a wired connection for stability or a wireless connection for convenience, your TP-Link TL MR100 is ready to serve, ensuring you can enjoy reliable internet connectivity for all your devices. For instance, if you want to connect your DVR digital video recorder to the TP-Link TL MR100 router for internet access, you can do so easily using an RJ45 LAN cable. Start by plugging one end of the LAN cable into the Ethernet port of the DVR and the other end into one of the LAN ports on the router. This wired connection will enable the DVR to access the Internet, allowing you to remotely monitor your security cameras or manage recordings through a mobile app. Once the DVR is connected to the router via the LAN cable, it will establish an Internet connection automatically. This setup is beneficial because it allows you to access the DVR's features and footage from anywhere using a mobile app on your smartphone or tablet. With the combination of a reliable internet connection and remote access capabilities, you can ensure that your home or business is under constant surveillance, providing peace of mind along with the convenience of remote monitoring. To connect your devices wirelessly to the TP-Link TL MR100 router, the first step is to locate the default SSID network name and wireless password, which are conveniently printed on a label at the bottom of the router. This information is crucial as it will allow you to connect your computer, smartphone, or any other Wi-Fi enabled device to the network. Make sure to take note of this information as you'll need it in the next steps. Next, you'll need to access the Wi-Fi settings on your device. On your computer or mobile phone, click on the network icon, typically found in the system tray or settings menu. This will display a list of available networks. Look for the SSID of your router in the list and select it. Once you've clicked on the network name, your device will attempt to establish a connection with the router. Now, you'll be prompted to enter the default password that you located on the router's label. Carefully input the password to ensure there are no typographical errors, as Wi-Fi passwords are case-sensitive. After entering the password, your device will connect to the router, granting you access to the internet for browsing, streaming, or using apps on your mobile or computer devices. If you wish to customize your wireless experience, it's important to note that you can modify the Wi-Fi SSID and password to something more personal or easily memorable. We'll demonstrate this process in another segment of this video series, providing you with the guidelines needed to personalize your network settings and enhance your overall connectivity experience. If you found this video useful, we would greatly appreciate your support. Your contributions help us create more informative content and ensure we can continue providing valuable resources to our audience. Whether it's by liking the video, sharing it with others, or subscribing to our channel, every bit of support truly makes a difference and is greatly appreciated. Thank you for being part of our community.